Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. In this video we are talking all about legendary ingrams. More specifically, a couple of different methods that I like to do each week to farm them. Now, I do want to say that the methods that I'm going to show you are on a weekly reset, so you are limited to, at most, probably 10, uh, just by doing these you know, little things that I'm going to show you here in just a second. About 10 a week if you have three characters. If you only have one character, then you're looking at most three or four. But in any case, they are pretty easy to get, and they don't take a lot of time to do, so why not go for it, man? So the first one that we're going to do, you can see that we're on the Dreadnought. Just follow the path that I'm on right now. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you we're going to go and try to open that chest that uh, is in the back of the mausoleum with the four blind thrall majors that you can't kill but will destroy you. In order to open this chest, you need to first go to the ch or the room with the chest of maggots uh, to get the scent of the worm in order to open the chest that we're going for. So we're going to go ahead and go over here. You don't actually have to go stand by the chest. You just kind of have to hang out in this little cave right here. As long as you're inside the room, you will get the scent. You will know that you are getting the scent because a green cloud will begin to form over the edges of your screen. It's very annoying. So while we're waiting for that to charge up, let's go ahead and talk about some other methods that you can do to get some really quick exotic or legendary ingrams. So Vanguard Heroic Strikes guarantee you to give you one legendary ingram each time you complete your first heroic strike per character. So if you have three characters, you do a heroic strike on each one of those three characters, and you are guaranteed three legendary ingrams. This is very easy, it's very quick, with the little modifiers that we have in this playlist now, it's pretty fun. And in addition to those, if you stay in this playlist on one character for about three matches, then you get the Vanguard Streak bonus that allows you to get a guaranteed well, for the most part, it's it's like four out of five times uh, you can get a legendary Ingram at the end of each one of your matches if you have the Vanguard Streak active. So going back to our chest here, once you have the Scent of the Worm active on your screen, and you'll know that you have it active because your screen will flash, it'll play a little noise, and above your super, it'll give you a countdown of one minute. Now, this is very hard to get over there within a minute if you do it the right way, which is go over to the other side where you spawn in for the Dark Blade, Pull up your ghost, spawn the platforms, jump from one to another, pull up your ghost, spawn the platforms, blah, 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 blah. Lather, rinse, repeat. It's, it's, it's a pain in the ass. I don't like to do that. All you need to do is do what I'm doing. Run over here to this wall. There's a little crack that you can land on. You can run straight down this wall and go straight to the chest with about 20 seconds left. Now, a lot of people like to use a sword there. I don't like the sword because it puts you in third person. I prefer to have first person so that I can see where I'm landing a little bit better. But as you can see, we do get a legendary Ingram from this. This is not a guaranteed Ingram, guys, but it is a very high chance. I do this every week, and of my three characters, I get at least one or two legendary Ingrams. Uh, so the next chest is also going to be started here in the mausoleum. This is the easiest way to get there. This is uh, starting right where the Dark Blade Strike starts. So again, just follow my path. Now for this one, you're going to need one of two things. Number one, you're going to need a sword. Number two, you're going to need a super. Now for the super, if you're a titan, you're going to want to use Sunbreaker. If you're a warlock, you're going to want to use Storm Trance. And if you are a hunter, you're going to want to use Arc Blade. Now we're going to do this because we're going to go open that chest that requires a relic and the ground will kill you. So you can either pop your super before you walk in there or you can have your sword and shield before you walk in there. Either way, you will have enough time to do it. I prefer the sword because you take virtually no damage when you're blocking with the sword here, as you can see. Now, for this chest on this character, I did not get a legendary Ingram, but I wanted to include it just to show you guys that this is not guaranteed. However, I do both of these chests each week on all three of my characters, and I average about five. So now let's go take a look at the Ingrams that I got this week. All right, guys, so here we are at the Crypt Arc. We have a few Ingrams to turn in, as you can see. Now, I obtained these by doing the two chests on the Dreadnought that I just showed you uh, with all three characters. Those gave me a total of four Legendary Ingrams, and also by doing my three Heroic Strikes for the Weekly Ingram. Uh, you, like I said, you get one Ingram per character per strike, if it's your first strike that you do that week. And also, I got one from uh, just a random drop, and as a bonus, we have this exotic here that uh, we're going to open up. I got this from the boss in one of the strikes. So we're going to go ahead and get started and knock out all the armor. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of these class items. And then we will go ahead and do the armor. 
Go ahead and get rid of this guy, get this guy. All right, so here's the two weapons that we got. We got a primary Ingram and a special Ingram. Let's go ahead and bust open the primary first. And that, eh, we'll take a look at it. And uh, let's take a look at the special. And again, we'll, well, that one's going to get in it dismantled. So uh, let's go ahead and bust open this exotic and see what we get. Peregrine Greaves, not very exciting there. So we'll take a look at this. We got a 283 Deal Breaker Cryptarch, you asshole. Uh, we got high caliber rounds, hand loaded brace frame, counterbalance, and partial refund. That's actually not horrible. I mean, this is definitely going to be more of a PvP auto rifle, but uh, that might be worth hanging on to and checking out. And here we have a Jabber Hockey. I hate sidearms. I do not use them at all. But we'll take a look and see what we're working with here. And yeah. Goodbye to you, sir. Okay, so moving on. We have all the, uh, all the armor now. Now, all this I'm just going to throw away. Because I have a good set of armor that I'm not going to change. Um, so unless this just has a really high light level then I don't need it. And if you're wondering why I'm not getting any legendary marks from this, it's because my legendary marks are full. And uh, I know somebody's going to say in the comments, you should be saving those to, uh, you know, open later when your legendary marks aren't full. I don't care, man. There's, there's nothing that I spend my legendary marks on, so I don't really need them. Let's see what this looks like. Tarlo mark. Looks like a condom. Looks like a fucking condom. Okay. <laughs> okay, and it looks like we got two fucking artifacts down here, because that's garbage. We'll take a look. Fire Break, Solar Resonance, Intellect Discipline, I already have... See, this this is the bad part about, you know, getting deeper into this game and, you know, getting to 335 Light and all that stuff and, you know, finding all the gear and weapons that you like to use... I mean, like this right here, this Titan. Okay, we got Max Intellect, Max Discipline, Tier 1 on Strength. A lot of people try to grind for the Tier 12. I don't really care about it. I don't use my melee. And when I do, I mean, it's just kind of a panic melee for the Titan. So I'm not worried about getting this to Tier 2 and getting, what, 8 seconds shaved off of my time here? I don't really care. You know, if I have that extra 8 seconds to get my melee back. Uh, my Titan is fucking perfect. Look at him. He's the sexiest titan that you have ever seen in your life. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this exotic. I already know I'm going to throw it away because it's not intellect discipline. But we'll take a look and see. Sniper, machine gun. Would be good if it was a 335, But, alas, it is not. So it shall become a shard. So anyway, guys, that's going to bring this video to an end. Hopefully you found it helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.